Welcome, welcome, and good morning from wherever you are. We always say good morning in Long Ridge because, again, mornings are the beginnings of New Horizon. So good morning from wherever you are in the parts of the world, and welcome to our next edition of the CIG Net Live. And, anchor, and, uh, and anchoring with me tonight is going to be our host. There's a slight change in, um, in our uh, um, presentation today. So I'm, I'll be introducing to you our host today, simply just sit down. Thank you, Boss Zoria. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good to have you here. And um, we know why we, we couldn't see the top notch on this platform this evening. The Forum 2021 is inside the top gear with the same videos, with the same pictures. And they, they've been in hot session. So, and uh, we hope that by next edition next year, we will be there as well, being decorated. Welcome everybody to tonight's CIG Sunday Night Live. It promises to be an amazing session as it has always been. And our topic today is health colloquium and um, with a rider of infertility. We have a very special guest that is going to take us on that uh, lecture this evening. I will introduce our guest for tonight uh, in person of Mrs. Jacinta Isenwafo. Uh, she studied biochemistry from the University of uh, Namdi Azikwe University, Oka. Also did a master's degree in biochemistry from University of Lagos. Uh, she went for a youth service at the medical diagnostic uh, laboratory. Now she fell in love with the profession and went back to study medical laboratory science. First and as an associate member and later did her fellowship in medical laboratory science. Now received an award as the best graduating student. Has additional diploma certificate in health and management from University of Washington. Director of Global Viva Medical Diagnostic Laboratory. She's happily married with children. So join me as I welcome Mrs. Azen for Jacinta, Medical Laboratory uh, Science Laboratory. You're yeah, welcome, ma'am. You can unmute yourself. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Good to have you, ma'am. Thank you so very I'll much. Your, I'll be sharing your slide you sent. I'll be sharing your slide for you. So you can okay. go ahead, you can shoot, it's your show. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining us for today's training. My name is Mrs. Elema Kodesita. I am a medical laboratory scientist, and I'm also a partner with Longreach International. Today we'll be talking about infertility. Infertility is a very wide and broad cause. And it is also a common happening around us. We know one or two people around us that are addressing this issue. That, that is why it is very important that we do this topic today because be in this long reach business, you, if you have the right knowledge and information, you'll be able to help so many people around you. So let us start. First of all, what is infertility? Infertility occurs when a couple cannot conceive after regular unprotected sex for a period of one year. Regular, that's they are having sex regularly and there is no protection, no family planning, no condom, no anything. The couple meet at regular interval for a period of one year. Actually, WHO came up with that one year issue to, before you can declare that somebody is infected. Three, these three conditions have to be met. That is 
the couple will be meeting regularly and there will be no protection. And the meeting will be for a period of one year. If there is no pregnancy at this time, that is when you say these people, couple are infertile. There are actually two types of infertility. We have the primary infertility and then the secondary infertility. The primary in infertility refers to couples who have not become pregnant after at least one year of having sex without using birth control. That is, they've been having their regular sex and there is no pregnancy. We call that primary infertility. Then the second one is secondary infertility. This one refers to the couples who have been able to get pregnant at least once, but are unable to have subsequent pregnancies. Somebody might have one, I'm not able to have the second one, that is secondary infertility. Somebody might have two, three, four, and once more, once they are not able to get the next one that they want is still under secondary infertility. So who this infertility, is it a woman's issue? Is it only pregnant to female? Or is it for both men and female? The answer is, it is for both men and female. It can happen to a man, it can also happen to a woman. Unfortunately, in this part of the country, world we are, whenever there is any delay in getting pregnancy, it is always burdening on the woman, believing that it is the woman that has issue. But from my experience as a medical laboratory scientist, it is not the truth. The problem could come from either the female or the male. So what are the possible causes? causes of infertility in the female. The possible cause of infertility in the female could be as a result of failure to ovulate. Ovulation is the release of egg from the ovary of a woman. But with that egg, there will, there will be fertilization. It's part of the man have to fertilize the egg of the woman for pregnancy to take place. So whereby a woman cannot ovulate, pregnancy cannot come up. There is also the problem of menstrual cycle. Some women, they don't have regular menstrual cycles. They might menstruate this month, next month, they are not menstruating, or they might have this, they may menstruate twice, three times in a month. It makes it difficult to track down when their ovulation is actually take, taking place. So this could also result to infertility. Then they, we have the structural problems of the reproductive system. The reproductive system might have one issue or the other. The fallopian tube might be blocked. The ovary might not be situated where it's supposed to be. There might be too much growth in any part of the female reproductive system. This could also affect fertility. Then we have the case of infection. Infection is also another problem that could lead to infertility. If there's an infection in the system, it could re lead to pelvic inflammatory disease, which can cause the blockage of the tubes. This results in fertility. Again, another one is failure of egg to mature properly. Without the maturation of egg, there is a, 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 a limit that the egg has to get. There is a maturity stage that has to get for it to be released. If the egg fails to mature, it cannot be released, and that could lead to infertility. Then implantation failure. This is another issue. The egg might be fertilized, really, by the sperm of the male, but on getting to the uterine, it will not be implanted, it will not be planted to the womb so that the child can start growing properly. And because of this wrong implantation, the baby will flush out. That, I mean, the, the egg and the, the fertilized egg will flush and there will not be any baby growing. Endometriosis is another cause of infertility. Another one is polycystic syndrome. The uterine fibroid is another still issue and is a very common issue in this part of the plant that could lead to serial infertility. 
Then we have a hormonal, it's not in this slide, but it's an, another important cause of infertility in the hormonal imbalance. Hormonal imbalance is another cause of infertility in the female. And let's talk about the male factor. In the men, there are also issues that can cause infertility in the male. And this includes varicose cell, which is a swelling of the veins that drain the testicle. Infection too is also a cause of infertility in men. Ejaculation issues, when the man cannot ejaculate properly, they spam into the veins system. For example, there are some men that you do spam count, you find out that there is no spam at all in their semen. What is the problem? Actually, there might be production of spam, but it was not ejaculated to the test that was to carry it to the proper place that it's supposed to be. Then we have the antibodies that attack spam. These antibodies are formed as a result of maybe surgery or other interactions in the body that might stimulate the skin the spam as a foreign body and start reacting against it. This will lead to infertility. On the testicles can also lead to infertility in men, tumors. Hormonal imbalance is defense of tubules that transport spam. Genetic defense also lead to infertility in men. There are other health problems like diabetes, infection with Chlamydia, gonorrhea, most or HIV can also lead to infertility in men. So infertility is a serious problem that needs to be handled. Two months. So the, is, how do we know? How do we check whether somebody is infected? In the lab, the person that has been having issues, not enough, to the lab test, know what the risk is. It is when you know what is consequent that you know what how to do it. So when they go to the lab, they do a lot of tests in order to know the actual cause of this infertility. For the female, they do blood tests to check the hormone. We call it hormonal profile. They can also do a test to check the, the ovarian reserve, a test called anti-mullerian hormone. You know, just women start shedding their eggs at a very young age. And there are some people that have shedded most of their age, their eggs, sorry, before they get to 40. And, or before they get to even 30, and they will have shedded most of it. So you find out that they are infected. When you do this anti-mullerian hormone, you will know whether have enough reserve of the egg to be able to take in. Then we do also check for ovulation profile to know if they are actually ovulating. Apart from that, we do infection tests for them. We check whether there's an infection in the system. Sorry, some of them are not being like questions to what I have not. So, they also do that for the female to check if there are any structural problem with the reproductive system, check if there's fibroid or any other thing that might be preventing. They do semen analysis. We do seminar fluid analysis for them to know if their sperm is actually where the way it's supposed to be. We check for the count. We check for that are active. The one that is to check the apart from the apart from the semen analysis, we also have to do infection tests for the men to see if there is any infection that could be affecting the the man's fertility. There are also structural problems with the man. 
Then after the test, what is next? After doing all the tests and you find out that this is the problem, then the next thing is for treatment. Basically, there are two types of treatment for fertility. The first one is blood test. You do a blood test for the man and the woman. And what are the blood tests you do? For the female, you do hormonal test with the blood. You also do ovulation test for them. For the man, you also can also do hormonal test. You do infection test for both man, the male and the woman. That sorry for the treatments abbreviated treatments. We have three types of treatments for fertility. Please, we are on treatment now. We have three types of treatment for fertility. We have treatments using medicine. You use medicine to treat. Which of them do you use medicine to treat? We use medicine to treat the cases whereby the, the hormones are affected, both in the male and the, in the female. Or if there is an infection, we also use medicine to treat. Then another treatment is surgical procedures for those that have fibroid or any structural problem that need to be corrected. Before I go to the third one, let us talk about the medicine. There are different medicines that can be used to treat infertility. We have the ones that the doctor will recommend, the conventional ones, like flow meat, like other drugs that they can use. But for the purpose of this night training, I would like to talk about long reach products that are very good for fertility issues, which I have used, tested and trusted, and it has worked for so many people that came to me and we did test that the hormonal issues or infections were affected. This, this for the female, we use the, the product that is very, very good for treatment is Menquai. It is a very good product that can correct hormonal imbalance, that can make the of that can make the eggs to be very, very okay. Then we have the panty liner, which is also very, very good. Very, very good to handle infection issues in the female. For the men, we also have the labau, which helps to increase the quality of the sperm and also the quantity. It is a very good product for men to boost their fertility. I'm not just talking because I am a partner with Long Beach. I am saying it because I have given it, I recommended it, and it worked for so many couples. But as we said, before you give, know what the root problem is. If it's something that needs surgery, let the, let the patient go for it. If it's something that needs other medical attention, the patient should go for it. You understand? Then we have another powerful and natural antibiotic, which is cordycept mellitus. That one is also, also very good for infection issues for both the male and the female. Then, as we have said, the third line of treatment is what we call assisted reproductive technique. This one you are assisting, assisting the couple. It is man manipulation. Why? Why do you need to assist? There are so many intricacies in conception or in getting pregnant. We have some women that their mucus does not accept the sperm of the man. What does it do? Whenever the sperm comes in contact with their sperm, with their mucus, the sperm will die immediately. There are some women that their body system are too acidic for the sperm to survive. All these things are barriers that will prevent fertility. 
that would prevent pregnancy. And you find out that you may do tests for both the man and the woman. They are all right. Nothing is wrong with them. Their hormones are okay. There is no tumor. There is no fibroid. The sperm count is fine. Everything is in order, yet they are unable to conceive. So what do you do? This assisted reproductive system, reproductive technique will be applied for this purpose. And we have different types. We have the one we call IUI, intrauterine insemination. In this one, this, the mass fan will be introduced by the doctor into the uterine of, into the uterine of the woman to, to cross the barrier of all these things that are numerated, the high pH, the acidic womb, or the mucus not accepting the sperm. So they, they do that in order to know how to cut off that, that barrier. Then we have another one, which is IVF. IVF is in vitro fertilization. It's another very powerful method of overcoming infertility. And it has worked for so many people. This one is good for even people that have advanced in age because it will be, they, they, there will be a spam washing the cell. Even for men that have low spam card, this one is also very good for them, you know, because they will set, the spam will wash and the best will be selected for this. So there are a lot of things to talk about in infertility. It's for the purpose of today's training, I would like to draw our attention as a partner to take our, you know, to help people around us, to let them know that some of these are products can be very useful for them, can also help, them, especially if they have done their test and you know that what they have, the, the issue they have is something that our products can handle. Like if they have hormonal issues, you can recommend the menkwai for the man and the labor for the woman. So the demetrial for the woman and the labor for the man. You can also recommend the panty liner, and then you can also recommend our cordycep militaries. Our sanitary pad can also go a long way to help for people that are in this situation. So I think with this, we have been able to throw light into this topic. Thank you very much. Hello. Thank you so much, ma'am. You can come on video back now. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you so much. Thank okay. you so much. We actually, it was spot on and you made it so, so snappy. Boss Gloria. Thank you. Thank you very much. You can, on your, you can put on your video now, ma'am. Okay. And thank you very much for that wonderful presentation, you know, like what Sitan said, you made it sound so easy, but then, but, but then you gave us a wealth of, I mean, a wealth of information as far as, as it relates to like, um, the cure for infertility. And um, I know that a lot of, this is a problem. This is a subject that, you know, that is dear to, you know, to the hearts of lots of people because because this is a problem that plagues so many couples and and uh, thank god you know due to you know this this language product many families you know have been blessed you know with you know with the fruit of the i mean of the womb so i know that you mentioned this number of products again as it relates to caring infertility but from your own aspect as a partner do you have any favorite products, long with products, you know, that you want at least two of them? Can you share those with us? Sorry, can you come again? I said, I know you mentioned about, you know, some products as it relates to the cure for infertility, right? But as a partner in long with, yes. do you have any other I mean, products that you really, really like, at least two of them? And can you share those with us? 
Yes, yes. I love a lot of language products. Let me not mention the fertility ones because they are the best. They have made me to be very, very happy with my profession due to what they have done to the patient, the patient that came to me. And I recommended for them to go and use and I have one of them that they, they, they don't have issue for four years. When they use the, the husband used the bow, he has is a known low span complication. He used the bow and the wife used my client. And believe it, the next month the wife took him. And do you know what they gave back? Twins. They wow. gave back to set of twins. So apart from that, the toothpaste is another wonderful product. Wonderful product. I was enjoying using it to brush my teeth and give me fresh breath, make my, make my family teeth be very okay. Now, I now discovered a lot of this from other partners when they share their testimonies about the toothpaste being used if you have blocked your nose. I said, let me go and try. And it was, it was wonderful. Then another testimony of a partner that when you have a hot water on your body, you apply the toothpaste. A situation arises and we applied it to the person and believe it, believe you, it was so wonderful. Not, no sign of any bonds after an hour that the person came back and we saw no pain, no bond, no nothing. A hot water poured on the person. So the toothpaste is a very, a, the product I cannot play with. It can, I can never lack the product in my house. It, I wow. even give out, I give it out to people at, because I want them to really know how effective it is. If you tell them to buy, they may think that I want to sell. So let them use it first and give me a feedback. And all the people I've given it to, they all came back to ask for it because they actually saw how good it was. So it is. So another product that I can tell you in Long Beach that I love the most, I cook. That one it is my that, what we like. My good morning for them. Every I use it. Drink from, me and my family members we drink from the alkaline cup, and it believe healthy like okay. Wow. Somebody That's in my office has become sickness, my typhoid and malaria all the time. I told her buy this cup and use it, and you see that you it will detoxify your system. I think your problem is too much toxic. She argued and later bought it. And I'm telling you that she came back to thank me that ever since she started using the alkaline cup, she has been very, very okay. So these are the two products among the many that I can mention now because there are so many of them that are good. Thank you very Thank you. much. I mean, I mean, we have, I mean, I know that what you've said now is I've heard a lot of people also say that. And I and I and I will also attest to that. So, but then thank you very much for sharing that information with us. I just wanted to ask a question that relates to your profession as a biochemist. I don't know, uh, Bositon, is, I mean, is it okay to go ahead and ask this? So, right, so, my, so my question is, as a biochemist, when, when Longridge met you or when you came across Longridge, did you have any, any reservations, you know, uh, you, you know, with trying this product because you were professional in your, in, I mean, in your career, did you have or did you have any reservations or any doubts as far as the products are concerned before you use them and then introduce them to your, your uh, client, to your patients? Well, I will not say that I had a reservation. I'm a, I'm a medical lab scientist, also a biochemist. So I like to experiment on what, uh, you know, that, presented to me. I need to do my research and what how do I do it? I use it myself to see. 
I use the product by myself and to see if what was said is actually what the product is all about. Again, this product did not fall from heavy. It was produced by people that also did research, people that are scientists too in their own area that worked on it to come up with all these findings. So I cannot just reject it or say it's not true. When I know that qualified people also worked or need to produce it. So I didn't actually have preservation. The only thing is that I would always like to use it myself so that when I'm telling, telling my patient or anybody I want to present it to, I cross my heart that what I'm saying is actually what it is. That's all. That's true. Thank you. Wow. Well, That's a thank good you one, so much. Right? Yeah. Because usually, you know, I, I that, the same thing that I applied to Dr. Adejimo, and uh, it said something that because of the training from the upbringing as uh, a medical person, talking about supplements has to do with um, use, usage of herbs, and they were not trained like that. But having gone through and researched and used long reach products, and he has recommended to some, of it, some other people, gave him so much assurance about the products. And that at the point in time, he took like four of his doctor colleagues and they were wowed that, no, these are just, I don't, I don't, I don't want to take much of your time, ma'am. Thank you so much. Now, let me just ask you one, I don't know, maybe it would be like technical question or funny question, I don't know. We, we observe, you will know that you are advanced in age and coming to long reach, talking about product has to do with network marketing. Now, at your level, at your age, and you are a proud brand partner with long reach, why do you still have to succumb to doing this? Can you just tell us? And this is just to encourage some of us that may be struggling in the business or don't even know whether this thing is actually true, true or works very well. Can you tell us what keeps you going about long reach? Well, to be honest, the Edurus were the one that really made me to come all out. Because I will tell you that I know them from the beginning. You understand? Mm -hmm. So one day somebody came to my office and was discussing one family uh, that, ah, that their life because of this knowledge business, this one, that one. I didn't know they were talking about them. You understand? Because I would have not seen them for some for a for some years, then maybe about two years or so, I've not seen them. So incidentally, that same week, two SD Emanuela came to my facility to do one or two things. And I saw her wearing a shirt, a t-shirt written long reach. And I know that their office was ar around where the lady was pointing. So please, are you the person that one person was talk, telling me about this, that, that? She said, yes. If you see how she said that, huh? that said, I can't do, do you mean it? That was how she now introduced the business to me. And they have always been inspiring me. Mm -hmm. You understand? Whatever, they, anything, anytime you call them and ask them many questions, they will always put you through. So the way they drive the business is actually my drive. That was what attracted me to the business. And that is what is still keeping me. Then I found out that, you know, in this business, no matter what you are doing, if you are also putting your energy, you, know, you may be growing small, small, small bits. You are progressing. You, understand? you are moving forward. As far as you are yeah. doing, I, I use it to say, if you have a drop of water, maybe a bucket, in a tub and the water is dropping, ping, 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 ping. Before you wake up in the morning, you find out that the bucket is already filled. That's how long it is. So mm -hmm. even in your time schedule, you are able to do, there are times you get a lot, you will even be wondering how, what happened. Mm -hmm. It's a very, very good, nice business. It's a very, very nice one because Thank you. you keep on winning. Thank you so much, Ma. Thank you so much, Ma. You've heard it all, you've heard it all, and uh, this is the good thing this platform offers us. And uh, you know one thing is that I just feel blessed today 
Why? Because this is my first time of interacting with you, and I'm just lucky because and I have another solid medical laboratory scientist mm -hmm. <laughs> to myself. And it's a, at the kind of tap of finger, please, boss, can I get to meet with the woman? So I know I have free access to you now. And I cannot knock on your door and say, you don't know who set on, who set on is. So that is one thing that this platform can give to you. Thanks so much, ma'am, for your time. And uh, we pray that your business will continue to move uh, ahead and your family will be in very special good stead. The Lord will continue to grow you more and more and your children will do good things in your, in your lifetime. Thanks so much, ma'am. But before we go, um, if I want someone, maybe one of the top leaders around that can come on camera, you raise your hand and you appreciate uh, Mrs. Uh, Ezinwa for this evening. Just waiting. You know, you know what you do to us? You okay. say good morning in Ghana, maybe in Asante, I don't know. Just, you know, I'm in Nigeria. Uh, I'm like you are in Nigeria, but you've been in Ghana and you're supposed to know how they say good morning. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh. okay, go ahead. I appreciate our, yeah. our guest this evening. Okay. I want to really appreciate you, Ma, for the lecture. We got value. And we learned a lot of things that you said. In Ghana here, when you want to say thank you, say medasi. Medasi, I know that one. And when you want to greet, uh, well done, you say Aiko. Aiko. So I'm saying Aiko. Yes, please. Okay. You have done well. So, Thank you very much. So come back next week and tell us good morning. Okay, I'll do that. Thank you so much, Mida Say. Hey, well. Thank you. All right. Uh, so much for that. Thank you so much, ma'am. Um,